Hi, I'm Ben, the founder of Easy AI. And this is a story about how we have doubled our annual sales in just three months. In Q3 2021, we have grown our sales by more than 4.8 times in comparison to the previous quarter. We spent roughly about 24,000 ringgit on Facebook ads to generate roughly about a million ringgit in terms of sales. That is roughly about 6,000 US dollars ad spend to generate 250,000 US dollars sales. That's an amazing 4,154% return on advertising spend. And this is the story of how we have done it. Hope it will be helpful to you. But before we go further, let me give you a bit of a background about who we are and how we sell. So in a nutshell, we are a software company. Our software is used by small and medium businesses to drive their online to offline sales. Why online to offline? We believe a lot of the small medium businesses in this part of the world, ASEAN in specific, their way of selling, it's not so straightforward as compared to just a website and a, a, uh, and a mobile app. Their sales journey requires some form of human interaction, store visit before the transaction can be closed. But unfortunately, O2O, online to offline, is a complicated process. You require perfect sales to marketing alignment, requires skill sets. All this introduce additional complexity. All this introduce additional costs for the small medium businesses. Our passion, our objective when we started PZ was to enable small medium businesses to digitize their business with the least amount of effort, little to no training whatsoever required to run digital campaigns least amount of change let them flourish and do business the way they are no additional changes to the sop or sla and least amount of cost because we know small medium businesses cash flow is important for them so similar to our target market when we sell pc we have to sell it online to offline as well we have to create campaign to generate leads and once the lead has been qualified we will have a sales team who will call attend to this leads, uh, deliver demos and a product trial before a conversion happened. So in a nutshell, we are using PZ, our software, to grow PZ. Over the time frame of three months, we have generated close to about 3,000 plus lead. And out of this 3,301 leads, 78.95% of them were qualified or good quality leads. And out of this, uh, sorry, not 8%, 21% only was disqualified. So a lot of the leads that we have generated were of high caliber and high quality. So this is a setup that we have used to achieve close to 4,000 return on advertising spend. So this is a bit of a trade secret. I don't mind sharing it with you. And I hope that you will find this setup helpful in creating your own journey and flow and setup to achieve your own sales and success. Being a bootstrap setup, our team is very lean. Our sales team consists of only three individuals. We have two person uh, performing the daily sales and one single sales support. Our marketing team consists of a designer who would constantly refresh the creative and also one additional uh, uh, campaign manager who would manage the communication and also the implementation of all of our campaigns. We use PZ marketing software to run our Facebook and Instagram ad campaign. That really helps to elevate the burden on our marketing team so that my campaign manager do not need to sit in front of the desktop, constantly monitoring the campaign, optimizing the campaign. All of that is done automatically by PZ marketing. Our campaign manager can be, uh, uh, can focus on more high level strategic uh, implementation, like such as adjusting the flow, understanding when and how we should optimize the messaging together with the designer. So all of the lead generation that happens on Facebook is automatically captured by PZ marketing. Incoming leads are classified as new. Now to prevent lead decay, immediately once a lead have registered on a Facebook lead form, we have PZ sales WhatsApp chatbot to greet those lead through WhatsApp. Unreachable numbers, numbers when we send a WhatsApp and we fail to get any response or is a cross, we will automate, our system will automatically classify it as disqualified. If they could 
reach the customer, but the customer did not respond, um, that prospect will be classified as reached by the system. So all this is done automatically by the system. Now, PZ Chatbot will ask every reachable uh, a prospect a few qualification questions. Prospect that fail to answer that qualification question, again, they will be set as disqualified automatically by the system and they will not be assigned to our sales agent. If a prospect passed all of the qualification questions that we have uh, 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 asked, then only then that prospect will be assigned to our sales agent. In a, a day uh, daily, our campaign can generate up to 30, days, uh, 30 leads per day. And it will be very overwhelming if our sales agent are calling every single incoming prospect. They wouldn't have time then to focus on key selling uh, 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 priorities like follow-up, like discovery, things that is best suited for a human being to do. By using this uh, setup, we help uh, elevate our sales team burden so that they can focus on key selling activity. They no longer need to download leads manually, distribute the leads uh, between all of the individual sales team. And not only that, it helps prevent lead decay because leads that register are automatically greeted, qualified by the uh, chatbot. Our throughput time is a lot faster. What I mean by lead decay, I'm not sure if you guys have encountered this. Sometimes when you run a lead generation campaign, because it takes time for you to manually download a lead, pass a lead to the sales agent. By the time the sales agent call, that lead might not recall that he or she had ever registered in your campaign. So with this setup, we want to do two things. One, we want to elevate the burden of our sales guys um, and let them focus on key selling activities. Because once again, we are a very lean team. I cannot have a huge amount of people calling all the while. And because we are a lean team, we are bootstrapped, I need to make sure that we squeeze the maximum value we get from lead. So I do not want any lead to be wasted because of lead decay. So we are using PZ sales for all of our uh, team communication with the prospect. So all phone calls, all WhatsApp communication is conducted through PZ sales. A good thing about PZ sales is that it allows uh, all of my sales team, my sub customer support team, to share one single WhatsApp phone number. And this is crucial because from the customer and from the prospect uh, perspective, they are communicating all the time to one single phone number, one single account that will be seamlessly transferred from an agent when they first came in as prospect to sales support once they are ready to buy and to customer support once they become a customer. But all the conversation is seamlessly within a single phone number. PZ sales allow us to share that single WhatsApp account with multiple different people in the team so that when that contact belongs to this individual, only this individual within our team can communicate, can read the conversation with the customer. Every other individual within the team could not read nor could not interact with a prospect that is not assigned to them. And as an admin, it is important for me because then I'm able to get a 10,000 feet view on my current sales and support activity. I'm able to monitor conversation, which is important when I'm onboarding and training new sales staff. I'm able to predict my sales pipeline by looking at the lead status uh, across every different agent. For example, if I knew, know that sales agent X have uh, 1,000 new leads, 2,000 reach, 1,000 negotiating leads, I can then pretty much predict what is my upcoming sales trend for the next two to three months because I understand my sales lag time. From, uh, from this entire usage of this software, it really helps us to be lead, but at the same time have a, a standardized way of ensuring control and predictability. Uh, predictability. So we have designed our chatbot to filter customer purchase intent. Customers who are well aware of the PZ brand and product and wants to buy immediately will have a separate flow within the chatbot. Now, this flow did not come immediately. We have gone through like 16 to 17 iteration of our chatbot script flow before we arrive at this. But we understand that some of our prospect knows the brand and product well and wants to buy immediately. 
in which case our chatbot will automatically direct them to our self buying portal where customers can sign up for a free trial and if they choose they can also contact our custom our, our sales support team to transact immediately a lot of our customers do not have a credit card so that's why there is this portal which facilitate communication between the prospect and sales support so that once they purchase they can send a bank transfer script and whatsoever customers who need a bit of discovery need a bit of education the chatbot will direct them um, to scheduling a call session with our sales team so in which case our sales, they can make an appointment within a link our sales team can then automatically call them again all calls all whatsapps are tracked by pc sales therefore we can track and score every prospect and in, uh, uh, intent based on how much message they have sent how frequent and how fast are they sending message how many phone calls they have received and make and what was the duration of the call all this comes together to piece together an algorithm to help us decipher the intent of the prospect now why the intent is so important because like i mentioned we are a lean team we always pref uh, prefer the lowest hanging fruit so we want to see which prospect has the highest intent that means require the least effort for us to convert so we'll focus on this prospect first and then progressively move on to customer with lesser intent so this is how we normally prioritize our sales call, uh, 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 what you call, uh, priority list, our sales team focus as well. To help with follow-up, um, we use PZ Sales as well. We have configured in PZ Sales chatbot to send automated follow-up message and reminder that are behavioral-based. What I mean by behavioral figure is that, for example, if we have a prospect that we uh, our sales team has been following up on, and the prospect have went dormant after a while. But if we detect this prospect have now somehow visited our website, um, start using the trial, check out the pricing pages, automatically uh, BZ Sales can detect all of these buying signals and automatically alert our sales team to follow up, uh, to send messages, to follow up, uh, uh, to proceed with the sales journey. So this way, our, again, our objective is to be uh, lean right our sales team do not have to constantly uh, track and remember everything they have the luxury of forgetting they can just focus on follow up and calls and our system will let them know whom they should follow up on when they should follow up on so this way you know it's a lot easier on our sales team as well the training time uh, and the training requirement is a lot lesser when we designed this flow initially um, there were few spreadsheet but we know very well, right from the early beginning, um, I understand based on my past experience consulting, past experience designing sales flow, the sales flow that requires the least amount of effort from, uh, the, from people are the one that will be the most effective. If I want my sales team to constantly record data, capture data into spreadsheets, um, uh, take down notes in the CRM, I know it will be difficult not only requires discipline, but it also distract their focus from doing what is necessary, which is selling, selling. So we started with one or two spreadsheets, but along the way, we start to automate more. And eventually we have dropped all spreadsheet together, except for our dashboard, which is used for weekly reporting. So our sales guys can focus purely on just chatting and calling. All of the data is automatically captured. For example, whenever uh, a sales uh happens when a lead convert into an actual conversion again our system pc sales would capture it and use that data automatically uh, to give to pc marketing so pc marketing again will automatically improve the targeting in the lead generation campaign our sales and marketing team do not need to have a sit down where um, sales have to give feedback on every single lead marketing have to analyze what are, are the differences between the good and bad lead and manually update the campaign all these are done automatically by a system. Our sales guys close the deal, AI pick up the signal, AI improve the lead generation campaign targeting. So um, that in a nutshell allow us to achieve the result while remaining lean and still having the control, the metrics and the predictability within the sales process. I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for my second blog where I will share the nine to 10 lessons I've learned while trying to grow our sales and double our sales within three months.